Hi, we're going to look at business models for the circular economy. Business models are crucial to enable circular economy products and systems. For example, designing a washing machine for extremely long life, repairability, and upgradability usually makes it more expensive, so companies don't do it. You need to find a way for your company to make money off of these instead. Now, there are countless different business models for circularity. You can be as creative about them as you are in your product design. Here's a landscape of different product service system business models for different levels of product service system. At the left is the traditional model, pure product. This isn't circular at all. You just sell products, and the more you sell, the better, like most washing machines. The next column has product-oriented revenue models. You still mostly sell a product that the user owns, but you also make some money off of supporting services, like maintenance or training. For example, you might sell the washing machine and delivery and installation, or an extra warranty. The next column has use-oriented models. The user no longer owns the physical product. They pay for using it but they do still operate it. This includes some of the sharing economy, like leasing or a washer that is communally owned in an apartment building. The next column has results-oriented models. The user not only doesn't own the physical product, they don't even operate it. They just pay for the result. For example, running a cleaning service where people drop off their clothes, you wash them, and they pick them up again. This is more of the sharing economy, like Lyft and Uber. And finally, the last column is pure service. There is no physical product, at least as far as the user is concerned. It's the service that matters. For example, if your cleaning service goes to people's houses to pick up laundry, hand washes it, and returns it to them. Besides these business models, another business model is selling software in addition to or instead of hardware. Now, this doesn't mean the software that facilitates the previous business models, although software is a great enabler for tracking, scheduling, and paying for shared products and services. But this means selling one piece of hardware that gets used for a long time and then making your real money off of the digital products. For example, if your washing machine ran apps, like a smartphone. Be careful, though, because sometimes advances in software can accelerate obsolescence of the hardware rather than helping it last. Software can itself be a digital product or service in any of these categories. In the end, product service systems can provide many kinds of business models to enable a circular economy. Now the question is, what's a good business model for your product and company?